Hi everyone, it's Haribo21 and today we are doing a tutorial on how to install my Napalm Zombie. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is come to Mod Me. If you go to the main page, you will either see it down here somewhere or if you go to the forums and you go to Public Assets and you go to My Napalm Zombie, here it is and it will be in my description, in my signature. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is download the content like so. I don't know why I'm showing you how to download files, I'm sure you know that, so we'll cancel out of that. <clears throat> Leave. Anyway, once you've done that, you are going to get this download and these instructions. Now if you follow these exactly, Everything should work properly. We're going to follow them during the tutorial just to make sure everything is in order. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new map. So create a new ZM mob map. We're going to call this Napalm 2. So we've created that now. Let's go back to our instructions. Now it asks you to copy all of the files from the download to your root folder. So just going to go to our Black Ops folder now. This is your root folder. You'll just grab all of these files except for the one that says open me and drag them in, which I'm not going to do because I already have the files. So the next thing we need to do is open the user map open me folder. Let's open that. And add all the scripts to your map. So there we go. I'm going to grab all of these. I'm going to go to our map folder that we just made. And here we go. That's that step done. Now open up your map name, GSC and CSC. Now there's these two files here. Let's just put some syntax highlighting on so we can see. And copy this line and put it underneath this one. So nice and simple. Here's that line. Put it there. Repeat the same step in your map name CSC file. There's the line, put it down there. That's all we need to do in the scripting. Now, the next thing we need to do is open our map zone folder. So come to your map, right click, open zone file. Again, I'm just going to pop on the syntax highlighting. Grab this line and put it anywhere. So down the bottom is generally a good idea, so we're going to put it there. That's the zone file complete now as well. Now the next thing we need to do is edit our sound file. So if we go back to here, go to sound, zone config, open your file. Open your file. There we go. Now this is a mess as always. I'm just going to quickly clean it up. This is definitely worth doing because otherwise it's really hard to work out where things have gone wrong. If something goes wrong that is. Do not understand why they've put that on another line. Right, so that's done. So the next thing we're going to want to do is find this user aliases, which is this right here. We want to grab this and put it there. Should really do this in Notepad, and then it becomes a lot easier to format things. But never mind. So that is now done. Next thing is open up Radiant. We're going to do that now. Okay, here we go. We have our map. Let's just put it in that view. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is just because this is one of the features that the Napalm Zombie has, so I'm going to pop some water in. So let's go here. Just quickly pop some water in somewhere. That'll do. That'll do. Do. That will do. Oh, excuse me, my stomach is growling because I'm very, very hungry. Right, <clears throat> grab some water. Oh, 
doesn't really matter what one, we'll just go with that one, that looks like water. Okay, so we've got some water. Now, next thing we're going to want to do is place some prefabs, and we set them up exactly the same as you would set up regular zombie spawners, so let's do that now. First one we're going to grab is right here, so ZM, Harry by 21 prefabs, Napalm Zombie, Napalm Zombie Spawn Point, and Spawn Point with Fine Flesh. The only difference on these is one has the Fine Flesh KVP and one doesn't. So if you place one inside your map, like so, you want this one. So all you need to do is just stamp the prefab, and then give him the same target name as your zones targeting. So you set it up exactly the same as you set up a regular zombie spawner. Nothing is different in this respect. If you do not place these, in theory, he should spawn from a zombie spawn point, like a regular one, so he will spawn behind barriers and things. You know, it's not obviously the best thing, so you don't always want that. So we're just gonna place, we'll just place a few of them around. We'll stick one over there, and we'll stick one down there. Yeah, there that's fine. And then just to show you that he also works behind windows, like he should, we're gonna quickly slap down this one as well. There he is, right click, prefab, oh. stamp prefab, there you go, and then if you look in the KVPs, script string, set receiver entry A, so we'll do that, script, Oops. set receiver entry A, and then he also needs the target name, so ta-da, he's all done, that's everything you need to do for Radiant, so let's just double check, yep. Everything, place the prefab, done. Step seven, compile and link your map. So that's all done now. All finished and all done. Quickly compile light. <clears throat> there we go, it's better we can see today. So we'll close down Radiant. Okay, and now we're gonna compile and link our map. So compile, light, link, build. Okay, that's all done, so that should all be working. For the purposes of this tutorial though, we don't want to be waiting until whatever round it is that he spawns, so we're just going to quickly show you something. If you go to the scripts, and you open the GSH file, you'll see up here, you can change what rounds he will spawn at, and how many can be there, and how many at once, and all things like that. There's also a debug, so if we turn this on, he will spawn non-stop. So we're just going to quickly link again, so that change takes effect. There we go, that's all done. So we're just going to run the map now. Okay, we're in our map, and we've got the debug on, so he should spawn like crazy. Quickly turn on god mode. There he is. Can't hear the sounds, so it's all turned down. We'll just turn it up just a little bit. There we go, Mr. Napalm. Hello, how are you? The health and everything can obviously be adjusted in the GSA card. Any other thing I make, you'll always find the same. You'll notice you're getting a few points every now and again when you shoot them. You're not getting them constantly. This is how it was in uh, Shangri-La in both Zombie Chronicles and in Black Ops 1. Grab a gun. If you go near him, he'll explode. As he walks in the water, you'll notice he starts no longer on fire and he's giving off mist. And also, he takes more damage while he's in this place. Again, walks in the water, goes all misty instead, walks out a couple of seconds later, he will catch fire again, like so, so everything is working. All zombies, all zombies, all zombies, zombies. Okay, that one didn't fire, that one uh, soon got lucky, we'll find out, well, I'll get the same one on the script, okay. There we go, he died. Anyway, we're just going to show you as well that he can kill me. I've got my... Alright, I'm quickly fast restart. Show you as well that when he's exploded and you walk into the fire, you will take damage just like you should do. Or the napalm zombie. Get <clears throat> one spawned down the window. That's the regular zombie. There he is. He's left a little fire patch there. Okay, is that one you're even vulnerable to? Okay. I'll check that out if I need to. I killed the zombies today, that's fine. 
Walk in the fire, you will take damage. There you go, it's all working properly. And then again, I'm just going to show you that he works properly if you do not use the debug. So obviously you don't really want the debug. If you wanted to say have a boss fight and have them constantly spawning, you could turn this on during the boss fight and then change that delay so it's a little bit more suitable. And then all you need to do to actually activate him in debug mode is there is a variable that can be changed. There it is. So there's zombie bees on napalm debug. And if you change that from false to true, all of a sudden debug will be active and he will spawn like crazy. So we're just going to quickly rebuild our map. Okay, that's done. So we're just going to run our map. Okay, here we are on map. Now, because the GSC, or the GSH, sorry, Minimum round is round five, and then it's either going to be one or within two rounds after that, so that's going to take forever. So we're just going to time scale 10. Misspell that. It. Turn time scale back down to normal. I'm gonna wait for a for a napalm zombie to come now. Is he gonna come this round? Let's see. He will spawn periodically throughout the round as well. If you're gonna have more than one napalm in a round, he won't just always be here right up the game. Not this round that he's coming. Favorite gun. You gonna come this round, Mr. Napalm Zombie? Let's see. It might be this round, it might be next round. Be next round because it's a dog round. I made sure he won't spawn during dog rounds. He also doesn't count for the enemy counter, but if one is alive and you kill all the zombies, the round will change for the next round. Oh, 
Note as well, if you are using my perks and you have PhD Plopper, it will not protect you from his explosion. This is how it is in, um, well, Black Ops 1, not Black Ops 1, it doesn't have PhD. But in Black Ops 1, you were not protected from his explosion by PhD, like everyone seems to believe. This is not the case, he deals fire damage, not explosive damage, so it does not protect you. So you guys see the round just changed, so everything is in order. I'm not sure the fire effect for that to be on my screen at the right time. Keep it there. Keep it there. Away. Okay, so well that may be a problem. I'll just patch that before it is. But nonetheless, this is how you see the main time zone. These are all working properly. Hope everyone enjoys. Yeah, so I've been Harry Boy 21. Thanks for watching my video. If you, uh, you enjoy, if you want to like and subscribe, see any other content I may make, you can contact me on Discord or you can see me on ModMe and see my releases on ModMe. Yeah, have a great day. Thank you. Bye bye.